If you are into rendering, chances you have crossed paths with a 3D software called Lumion. It is making waves in the industry, evolving from its modest beginnings into becoming a rendering powerhouse, known for its user-friendly interface, quick rendering, and ability to craft animations, panoramas, and images. So Lumion has taken the spotlight, but today we're gonna shift gears to shed light on a rising star which is turning heads left and right and it is called D5 Render. So D5 Render is the new kit on the block, focusing on real-time ray tracing, rasterization, and a PBR material system. It's tailored to architects and archivist artists, offering a fresh approach to crafting hyper-realistic results and in real time. The folks behind D5 seem to have cracked the code, eliminating the need for endless iterations, refining, and those dreadful render times. So the big question, how does D5 stack up against the competition, especially Lumion, and specifically when it comes to ArcVis? So without further ado, let's jump right in. So when it comes to the interface and user experience, D5 and Lumion each come with their distinct interfaces. D5 goes for a sleek, modern, and a clutter-free design, highlighting the 3D scene. The real-time preview is a game-changer allowing for instant tweaks, and some might find DeFi's interface intuitive, while others might feel it is a bit too modern and packed, affecting the workflow speed. Nevertheless, the potential and upcoming updates promise exciting improvements. On the other hand, Lumion takes a different route, rocking a simpler, somewhat older design. While aesthetics might not be everything, Lumion's user-friendly interface makes it a breeze to access tools for smooth workflow. It also has controls for lighting, weather, and landscapes which are readily available, aiding in creating immersive visuals which is needed a lot. This means that user-friendliness is a common thread in both D5 Render and Lumion, though individual preferences depend on experience and project requirements. If you are concerned about rendering and render times, both Lumion and D5 Render tap into the power of ray tracing for scene handling. D5 led the way in 2021, followed up by Lumion's integration in a 2023 update, which is very recent. Despite both offering ray tracing, their performance isn't quite equal. D5's advantage is its real-time rendering, offering architects and archivist artists instant visualization, which saves them a lot of time. I think its ability to portray precise lighting Intricate shadows and lifelike glass reflections sets it apart. In contrast, Lumion falls short in these areas, struggling to match the level of accuracy in comparison with D5, particularly when it comes to glass reflections. As for processing speed, both tools deliver fast rendering with realistic outcomes. Generally speaking, D5 takes the lead with reflective objects, while Lumion excels with flatter elements. By the way, D5 is also making waves as a GPU-based rendering powerhouse for ArcVis, boasting rapid global illumination, AI denoising, and a user-friendly design experience. Also with it, you can do a lot when it comes to architectural animation, especially because of the RTX technology, enhancing lighting, shadows, and reflection rendering quality. If you are using an RTX card, then it will turbocharge AI denoising for smooth real-time interactions and experience and polished final outputs, which can make D5 rendering stand out. Now, if you are interested in the latest models and assets, Lumion 2023 and D5 Render have gone out of their way, offering an array of new assets to amplify your designs and give you a lot of options. Lumion 2023 has more than 7,000 models and more than 1,400 materials. But don't be impressed so fast, because D5 Render has more than 9,300 models and 2,000 materials in addition to 76 particles. And the best part is, D5 Renders isn't holding back, releasing over 450 new models in the latest update, including a stunning variety of 220 plus animated trees and flowers that can breathe life into your architectural and landscape design. D5 is also pushing the boundaries with major improvements like the Merge Project, Rain and Snow, Weather, Projector Lights, Layer Command in version 
one click round corner, AO made rendering, interior parallax assets in version 2.3, and the new D5 global illumination and Z depth channels in version 2.4. And now in the latest version 2.5, real time caustics for dazzling light effects. In addition to the D5 SR super resolution rendering algorithms, enhanced control over light sources, improved global illumination for vegetation, and upgraded materials with subsurface scattering, in addition to improved grass. Also, we have workflow enhancements like a cloud workspace named D5 Studio, also section tools for internal views, an advanced camera tool for custom perspectives, and a top-notch video editing capabilities have been introduced too. Assets have received a boost too, with an emphasis on detail and realism. The D5 Live Sync tool for SketchUp strengthened the integration between D5 Render and other design software, and these innovations collectively enhance the software's efficiency and the rendering experience. When it comes to pricing, the D5 Render's community version is a steal for students architects, and hobbyists. The limited amount of assets are actually enough to use in most cases, and you can always import your own assets and manage them in your local library. The Pro License charges a $30 monthly subscription or $360 for an entire year for new users. But of course, existing Pro License holders continue to receive few updates, starting from the 2.0 version. The community version remains an option, while some might be on the fence about this change, others appreciate that D5 Render offers quality at a more affordable price point. Notably, it is the only rendering software offering free version updates, and while being relatively new to the rendering landscape, it now offers a Teams version for firms and studios seeking further to improve their work efficiency. Lumion, on the other hand, has two subscription plans, a standard plan at $54 per month and a pro plan at $108 per month, offering minor additional features. So what truly sets D5 Render apart as a rendering engine or a 3D rendering software? Developers have found a brilliant balance between the free and pro versions, so this balance caters to diverse needs, fostering community engagement and enhancing commercial experiences, which is necessary I might add. While the pro version offers a rich asset library, the free version continually is improving, nurturing the growing community, which is gonna help it become a familiar software, especially in this competitive space. And it will create a strong bond between users and developers, which is evident through a dedicated forum and the Facebook group. So these platforms foster collaboration, enabling users such as yourself to share work, address issues, and seek guidance. I think the next thing I'm gonna say is gonna be really important, which is the fact that the developers' rapid responses and exceptional support have been instrumental in the community's growth, because this is very much needed, and their proactive troubleshooting approach elevates support to an advanced level, especially in times of uncertainty. And if you're wondering, the forum and the group serve as a haven for evolving functionality hiccups with D5 Render. So, generally speaking, the future of D5 Render looks incredibly promising, and with its rapid development, new products like the AI-generated sketch into the 3D Models tool, and its unique features compared to other software such as Lumion, D5 on the path towards becoming a dominant force in the industry, which is in this case architectural visualization and architecture in general and its continuous improvement further enhances its potential impact. Also, the introduction of AI-powered D5 High or D5HI for turning AI-generated sketches into 3D models and its adaptability for firms and studios through the Teams version only solidified its position. So, keep an eye on D5 Render's journey as it becomes better and better in the architectural visualization field. So, if you are interested in D5 Render and you are hungry for updates and answers about D5, be sure to take a look at their YouTube channel, website, and Facebook group, and you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you.